in Ontario, we have a love-hate relationship with the Great Lakes in the winter. Either you love the snow, hate the snow, enjoy the cold, hate the cold. Regardless, when the polar vortex crosses over the Great Lakes, we are going to siphon the last bit of warmth out of that water. And that's why we're looking at some impressive squalls to start the week. However, look at the temperature anomaly come Tuesday. That northwest flow, look at all that purple in Wisconsin and that little sliver of purple south of the Great Lakes. That air avoids Lake Michigan. Now this air is going to cool down and start to freeze the lakes. Right now we're starting the week uh, at 16% ice coverage. That is going to change drastically over the course of the week. By the time we get to Saturday, this is when things really start to freeze up. Look at Lake Erie, all purple. That means the lake is frozen. The models are picking up on it. And the east side of every lake, you're getting those purples and pinks. That means that air is still crossing the lake, but it is slightly getting moderated. So let's play this out, put some values on it. And uh, the open water, look at the influence. So that blue, the lighter blues, that's the air being warmed. And look at central Ontario. The purples, that air avoids the lakes, while once we get to the weekend, the lakes are much colder, that influence is nowhere near as extreme. That's why we're looking at some of the coldest temperatures in decades.